Hi, this is Mrs. Nelson. We're looking at uh, illustrative math for seventh grade. This is unit one, lesson six, scaling and area. The objective is I can describe how the area of a scaled copy is related to the area of the original figure and the scale factor that was used. We're going to look at the warm-ups, scaling, scaling a pattern block. Use the applets to explore the pattern blocks. Work with your group to build the scaled copies described in each question. So we're going to pop over to the uh, website and we're going to look at uh, the applets that are available. So we're going to look first at this rhombus here. So we're going to be creating scaled copies of this uh, blue rhombus. So question number one says how many blue rhombus blocks does it take to build a scaled copy of figure A? So we're trying to make it look exactly like the original blue rhombus but we want to make it for letter A each side twice as long. So I'm going to add another block so it's twice as long, but if you look at the two shapes, I don't have the same shape overall. So I need to add some more blocks so that I can create that overall shape. And so I'm going to end up adding four blocks to make it twice as long because I had to make it twice as long and twice as tall so that it would still re resemble that same blue rhombus. So um, that's two times two or two squared to get me four blocks. Uh, letter B where each side is three times as long. So again if I add one more, more rhombus it's now three times longer than we were at the beginning but it doesn't have the same shape overall so I'm gonna have to add more of these pattern blocks and so that I end up getting nine blocks which comes from three long and three high or three squared which is nine. It'll take nine blocks. So thinking about this, two times two is four and three times three was nine. So if I want each side to be four times as long, I bet it's going to be four times as long and four times as high and it's going to require 16 pattern blocks. And as I build it, that's exactly what it takes is 16 pattern blocks. And I'll scroll down and I'll look at the triangle. I wonder if the triangle will operate in the same way. How many green triangle blocks does it take to build a scaled copy of figure B? So again, looking at figure B here, this triangular shape, we want to keep that same shape overall, where each side is twice as long. So I add another triangle. It's now two times as long as it was before, but it doesn't have the same shape overall. So I'm going to put a triangle in the middle and another triangle on the top so that it has that same overall appearance. You'll notice I got four blocks that time as well. So I'm going to go ahead and track that. I had 2 squared equals 4, 3 squared equals 9, 4 squared equals 16. I wonder if that same pattern is going to hold true with these triangles as well. So to make each side three times as long, I add another triangle. So the base is now three times as long, but I need each of the other sides to also be three times as long. And what do you know? That pattern holds true. It's going to be the same thing as three squared or nine. Again, with a factor, uh, using a scale factor of four. So with a scale factor of four, that means that I want every single one of these lengths to be four times longer. So I want it to be four times longer this way, four times longer this way, and four times longer this way. So I bet with a scale factor of four, again, even though it's a three-sided triangle, I bet we're going to represent that as four wide and four tall. And I got a total of 16 blocks to create four wide, four up the side on the left, and four down the side on the right. Again, requiring 16 of those pattern blocks. Interesting, even though I have a triangle versus a rhombus, I still needed the same number of pattern blocks if I was using a scale factor of two, three, or four. Let's see if that changes for a trapezoid. So again, with a trapezoid, I bet to make uh, the trapezoid two times larger overall using a scale factor of two where all the segments are twice as long then I'm probably going to need four blocks and I do because again I'm trying to make it not just that one length there but two times as long two times as high on both sides and two times as long on the top as well and so that that does require four of those pattern blocks let's see if I get nine yes I do and sixteen I certainly do. I wonder if this will hold true and if that will follow the pattern and the next one will be 5 squared. So if I want a scale factor of 5, I bet that um, the overall area increase would be 25 uh, square units. So let's look and see if that's true. Okay, then I would think that a scale factor of 6 means that my overall area would need to be increased to 36 
square units greater than the original and that's exactly what I see. Very interesting. I'll have to hold on to this um, experience so that I can reflect on it when I'm working more with scale factor and how it affects the area of a shape. Thanks for watching.